Mike Fisher here at the Star in Frisco with breaking news from the NFL that in a weird way has something to do with Jerry Jones's Dallas Cowboys. Deshaun Watson is presently reaching confidential settlements with all but four of the 24 women involved in these civil lawsuits against him for sexual harassment and more. Uh, that being announced by the opposing attorney, the plaintiff's attorney, Tony Busby, on Tuesday. While that comes out, and of course there's more shoes to drop uh, as it regards to Sean Watson, uh, a handful of NFL powerhouses might be casting an eye towards what happens next in terms of NFL punishment. First, as it regards Watson, we're working through the paperwork related to those settlements. Busby said once we've done so, those particular cases will be dismissed. Uh, there is an insistence from Busby that the four other women uh, are going to not settle and we'll monitor that as we go, we'll see. He says we'll go to court on those. What are these other shoes to drop as it relates to people besides Deshaun Watson? Well, it has to do with what the suspension would be from the NFL. There is a reported push that Watson should be suspended for a year for what he alleged to have done in his uh, sessions with the massage therapists. But if he gets suspended for a year, a report from profootballtalk.com says that the NFLPA will push back. And the way they'll push back is by citing what the NFL hasn't done in terms of punishment to other prominent NFL figures. Figures, uh, some could say, more prominent even than Deshaun Watson. What are the three identities of those figures, according to PFT? Well, that would be Robert Kraft, the owner of the New England Patriots, who uh, has been rumored to be involved in this over here. That would be Daniel Snyder, the owner of the Washington Commanders, uh, who is alleged to be involved in that over there. And that would be our own Jerry Jones of the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, these are uh, a particular grouping of cans of worms that the NFL does not want to open. Uh, probably uh, not just the Joneses, the Snyders, uh, and the Crafts, probably goes for almost all of us, would not have those particular cans of worms want to be opened. But the fact is, those owners and other owners in that fraternity, in that brotherhood, at that level of 32, they don't undergo the same punishment-related scrutiny that players do. I think that's inarguable, and certainly the NFLPA would have a leg to stand on there. This doesn't mean, by the way, that Kraft, Snyder, Jones get punished for anything they're ever alleged to have done uh, in this particular sensitive category. That's not the point of the NFLPA. The point wouldn't be to get them in trouble. It would be to use the leverage of the fact that they never did get in trouble, if indeed they ever did anything wrong, to keep Deshaun Watson out of trouble. So the Cowboys' name in the news here uh, as a sidebar, uh, and a sidebar that will move to the front burner, and that's why we discussed it here, we're preparing for this, move to the front burner. If the Deshaun Watson penalty from the NFL, regardless of the civil suits, if the Watson penalty is lengthy, a year suspension, the NFLPA is going to come back and argue, why didn't you ever do anything to the owners who arguably have, over the years, misbehaved? There's the story on Watson and the Cowboys from the star in Frisco, Fish, out.